Hello friends and welcome to bsptraining.com. Today I'm going to show you how do you do cash flow analytics in Tableau. So this is my fourth session about building CFO dashboard. Today in next few minutes we are going to see how do you design advanced data visualization and cash flow using Tableau. So I received a, a financial report from my users which consists of cash flow elements we have got income statement and balance sheet and i need to visualize my cash flow we have got data for last three years and your conventional cash flow consists of operating activity investing activities and financial activities i need to do some advanced analysis on top of this so that your my users can visualize this and make some important decision about the business so what i did first i made a copy of this sheet because i don't want to tamper this existing sheet I get a copy of it and I would like to classify my types of you know cash flow activities like operating investing and financial activities therefore I'm going to add an additional column over here so in order to reach and meaningful analysis many of time you need to do a data massaging or normalization of your data this is exactly what I'm going to do over here so I'll add a header over here named as header and I'm going to add these all are my operating activities so a kind of attribute I attach with this so that I can quickly differentiate between what is my operating activities what is investing activities and what is financial activities and whichever is not some of them are subtotal cash flow from operation operating activities this is subtotal cash flow for financial activities and cash flow for investing activities so what I do, uh, I don't want to include them for my analysis. Therefore, I'm going to add a filter and exclude them. So the easy way you can, uh, using quick way, you can filter it out. Okay. And I'll filter out with a blank and tag them as header. And later on in Tableau, I'm going to exclude them. And I would call, this is cash flow type. I'm going to save this and next we'll use this Excel sheet. There's a place I'm going to save it. I'll copy this Excel sheet, use the Excel sheet as a source for my Tableau because my Tableau is stored in virtual machine, therefore I need to exchange this data. So I go to my Tableau and I already shared that folder from virtual machine setting. You can share all the folders so I shared all the folders okay so the folder already exists called financial reporting therefore I need not share any further I can see over here and I sort by timestamp this is my cash flow which I just now prepared few minutes before I normalized few minutes before okay so this is my existing dashboard I'm going to create a dashboard in a similar way so I'm going to create a new sheet and my source is going to be Excel. I prefer to copy the data file from my network location to my local desktop. So I copy to my Tableau repository, data sources and financial reporting. Then I'm going to connect to Excel sheet. And before we actually start using it, I need to massage some data. So I go cash flow reporting. Okay. And I would na name them. First one is your uh, cash flow cash flow type second one would be your financial element I would call them as a global category financial element and then these are the year because I wanted these year to be considered as right now they are considered as a major okay and therefore I want them to use other dimension and transpose this data uh, as numbers. So all these numbers, I want to call them with a common category as majors. So I convert this, transpose this from rows to column. And in order to do this first step, recommend to rename your majors, okay. the headers. I'm going to rename it 2010. I have data for 2010, 2011, and 2012. 
2012. I'm going to transpose this data now. This is a very good utility from Tableau. I can do a pivoting. Okay. And because I don't want to bring use header data, I can filter it my source itself. Click on this and filter exclude header data. So I use cash flow type and I exclude header data. I want only financial investment and operating activities. That's it. So my data is ready. And the next step, I start building a cash flow reports on top of this. So I create multiple dash cash flow report and finally put them together under my dashboard. Okay. So start with cash flow detail report. In cash flow detail report, I might be needing cash flow type and cash flow elements. So it is like a nesting. These are different financial activities, investing activities and operating activities. You see the purpose of adding header over there or additional attribute. It is easing my job. I can quickly classify between financial investment and operating activities. I'm going to add a majors. Major is not labeled correctly. So I label it as majors or facts okay. that are easy to recognize. And I'll drag and drop all these majors. Okay. Now I'm going to add a subtotal and grand total to make it meaningful. Add subtotal, all subtotal, and finally grand total under analysis. My all grand total. Okay. Uh, it is still not looking so meaningful. So because there are some negative cash flow elements I have got, like other assets, they are negative elements. So I'm going to add different years, field name. Also, this is not named it correctly, so I name it as years. So I like to see year over year my detailed cash flow. We have got data for 2011, 2012 only. So I'm going to filter it out and keep only 2011, 2012 data. Then the numbers are coming as one sec. Yeah, numbers are coming as uh, these are numbers actually, they are. Currencies, so I'm going to convert this format from numbers to currencies under format Going to convert as a standard currency. This is fine, but there are some negative value Therefore I like to highlight negative value explicitly. So we have got highlight table click on highlight table You know, it will going to highlight your negative values You can swap this uh, This makes sense to me. Okay, I can quickly see uh, wherever the, we have negative elements so this is my detail cash flow detail report is ready now the second one i'm going to create 100 percent stack chart there's no 100 percent stack chart stack bar chart available in tableau i'm going to create a trick and create a 100 percent stack bar chart okay so for different years i like to see my cash flow cash flow type okay and cash flow type these are the majors I don't have data for 2010, so I'm going to exclude it for now. 2011, 2012, and then I'm going to add a grand total for my all the years. So I order grand total for rows and column. Grand total for rows. So in order to create a stack bar chart, I need to convert this number to a percentage. So I use percentage of total. Click on this and convert this to percentage of total. Add table calculation, percentage of total. So now it will say 2011 total. Financial activities and 2012 total financial activities okay. across. So I see uh, financial investment and other operating activities for 2011 2012. The grand total is 100. Okay. So, in order to make it meaningful, I'll convert this to my stack bar chart because it's 100%, it turns out to be 100% stack bar chart. So, there's no pre built, uh, you know bar chart you have in tableau which create 100 percent stack bar chart this makes sense to the user i can add a label over here as a major right had i used standard bar chart the negative value won't be so meaningful okay, but here i could see a meaningful output i could quickly figure out that for 2011 my financial activities have more contribution than 2012 2011 has more financial activities similarly for um, for 2011 and 2012, my investment and operating activities are similar, close to this. So this is my 100% stack bar chart. 
now i'm going to create a pie chart and i like to see percent contribution of each year so i use a pie chart and see the percent contribution of each year so first i use different year this for two years i convert my view to pie this is for two years okay for each year what are my different cash flow types i use a color right? so for 2010 2011 2012 because 2010 doesn't have data i'll use 2011 12 and then i use major for angle this is my total value 2011 doesn't have data i'm going to exclude this so 2011 2012 your different financial activities and the contribution of them i display label value or you could display in terms of percentage as well okay so display label and display cash flow type so this makes sense you can make it a little bigger you can play along with the formatting as well change font color size style you know you can do this and make this meaningful so now i have got year over year this is year over year cash flow year over year cash flow okay which i represent a pie chart the last view i'm going to create over here the donut chart tableau does not support donut chart so i'm going to use one trick to create donut chart see this carefully first i create a calculated field uh, you can name it anything i'm going to use a name as dummy and the value is zero i use dummy over here in my column twice and i turn it out to be a, a dual access chart dual access chart and the view type i turn it as pie chart okay. the inner one i'll change the color as black and white up to your need i'm going to convert it white and the outer one size i'm going to change so this turns out to be a donut chart okay but i want to define the contribution percentage of it therefore i use color to be controlled by cash flow type and so there are three color for three types of cash flow and finally I use a measure and display the label so this is a meaningful analysis for me i'm going to hide this label show header i hide this header finally you can prepare this for multiple years so one year i create for two years okay so again i'm going to exclude 2010 And the final step is to I create this a donut chart. And I put them everything together into my dashboard. So create a dashboard and place all your artifacts. First, I'm going to prepare a detailed report. It is going to occupy a lot of space. The remaining space I'll use to place my 100% stack chart and my donut chart and pie chart. So I can add a header over here as well. I click on title and turn it out to be a floating view okay so it depends upon my requirement i can place them anywhere then in turn i'm going to add other two views so i group them together for 100 percent stack bar chart and drag and drop over here again it looks so big so i'm going to turn it out to a float uh 100 percent stack bar chart Make it floating so i play just next to this similarly i'm going to place let me hide this i'm going to place my year over year donor chart i make it the float type year over year pie chart sorry And make it as a float and place next to my this 100% stack chart and finally I place my donut chart below this this too I'm going to make it floating you can organize in more meaningful it depends upon your you know one more thing the donor chart has an equal contribution. I need to go back and correct this. I need to change my major type as an angle. Donor chart is looking as an equal distribution. So I go back and change angle to my donor chart. 
Now this makes sense. Otherwise, it was looking at the equal distribution of all the colors. When finally I look at a dashboard, I get to know that. You know. So I place all these artifact together over here. You can further format and change the color, font, style, add header, images, anything depends upon your requirement. So this is how you can prepare your dashboard, cash flow dashboard, which makes sense to your financial users. So thanks for watching to today's video. Should you have any question, please feel free to write to us. Our website is www.bisptrainings.com.